It's science class and today I feel so excited because I am sure you are going to learn a lot of things about landscape and how these landscapes could be changed over the years. So my second graders, the lesson of today will be about Snow changes the Earth's landscape. Okay. That sounds great. Before we have learned about landscapes, right everyone? So who can help me to remember some landscapes that we have learned before? Or let me say land forms. Rock, sorry, mountains, valleys, plains, and... What else? Canyons. Hills. Wonderful! So, I want to everyone now to use your imagination, close your eyes and imagine that you are in the middle of nature. What can you see? I can see mountains, plains, and trees and hills. Okay, do you think all the mountains have the same shape? No. All the rivers have the same shape? No. All the hills have the same shape? No. Why? Because those landscapes or landforms change over the years. And each one of them may change for one reason. For let's say one one hill changes because of erosion or deposition or weathering. Okay, so and today we're gonna learn about weathering, okay? and the slow changes of the earth okay so before starting the lesson let me review something with you okay so everyone as you can see yesterday we were talking about slow and fast right and let me show you these pictures everyone we're gonna, we're gonna talk about slow and quick changes so, what do you think about the changes over here? There's a baby and there's an old man. This baby grew over the years and he changed into an old man. So, does this change take a long time or short time? Long time. So, is it slow or quick? Slow. Excellent. So let's read what's written over here. This is an example of slow changes. It takes many years for a human to change from a baby to an old man. And what about the picture over here? What do you I see? I can see a popsicle and I can see a melted popsicle. So does this take a long time or short time to change? Short time. So is it slow change or quick change? Quick change. Quick change. This is a slow change and this is a quick change. So let's see what's written over here. This is an example of quick changes. It takes a few minutes to change this ice lolly from solid to liquid. So we are going to connect this to the earth surface. We're going to talk everyone about slow and quick changes. So, let's look over here. Here is, or here are slow changes and here are quick changes. Some changes on earth happen by blowing sand or moving water. So, if you look over here, Okay, you can see three changes that may happen to the earth surface every day. But they are slow. And here also some changes, but they are quick. So everyone look over here. I want you to read only the first one. Weathering. 
and look over here volcanoes okay so everyone withering is something can or could happen to the earth surface every day and we call it slow change while the volcano is also something happen so everyone let's look over here and read what's written here weathering so w weathering is a slow change excellent that could happen to the earth surface well done and why here we have volcanoes and volcanoes is a quick change that could happen to the earth surface, surface. Weathering takes years and years and years to form a shape. But volcanoes takes a couple of minutes to erupt and change the Earth's surface. For example, in the lesson of yesterday, we were talking about the mountain. So if you look over here, you can see a hole. A hole. Or a tunnel we can say yeah and why do you think this happened in the middle of the mountain as the waves kept hitting the rock over and over again that part of the rock turned to be weaker and weaker till it started to break down into smaller pieces the moving water carried those small pieces away and that's how the tunnel formed and the rug got its shape. So everyone, as you can see, the water kept hitting the rocks or the mountain and then the mountain get weaker and these rocks get broken and the result is the tunnel over here. So everyone, today we're gonna learn about weathering so you will be able to define weathering and also recognize the effect of weathering on rocks and here we go i want you to watch the video here the video is about weathering of rocks so watch the video and come back and let's talk more about weathering so after watching the video we can say water can break down rocks into smaller pieces the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering weathering so the weathering is caused by water and sometimes the water is very strong to destroy the rock the rocks well done so water and wind can break down rocks into small rocks small rocks can break down into sand or soil over time weathering changes the shape and size of rocks so everyone i want you to highlight this information over here because it's important and please get your science book open page 12 okay and highlight what's written over here let's read it together the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering and <clears throat> it's caused by water and wind wind excellent so now <clears throat> how did weathering change this rock look at the rock everyone over here look at the shape of the rock so how did weathering change this rock strong wind broke off bits of the rock over time so the strong wind broke the big rock let's say so the wind and water can break or may break the rocks into small pieces and now let's move to page 13 and read what's written over here 
Tiny grains of sand can cause big changes in a desert. Winds blow sand against tall rocks. The sand cuts the rocks like a knife. The shapes of rocks change slowly over time. So everyone, tiny grains of sand can cause big change in a desert. How? Because winds blow sand against tall rocks. The sand cuts the rocks like a knife, as you can see over here. So the shape of the rocks change slowly over time. So task number one, write the definition of weathering as you have understood from the lesson and then draw to show how weathering can change rocks. You can find the definition over here. So the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is called weathering and it's caused by water and wind. So draw any picture of a mountain or a big rock, it's up to you. So task number two, fill in the blanks with the words from the box. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. So we're going to write rocks into smaller pieces. Okay. Weathering causes in the shapes of rocks. Can, uh, weathering causes changes in the shapes of rocks. Well done. So let's read them now. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. Weathering causes changes in the shapes of rocks. And our closure is to write one fact that you learned from today's lesson. Have a great day. Bye everyone.